Duracell thinks it has a long lasting battery, try coal from the Carboniferous. So here I am thinking about coal again. So guess what? Video number three. See coal is like a battery and let me explain why. When you have a battery and you plug it in, as long as it's fully charged, it will power stuff. Coal is very similar. It's what allowed us to power our engines during the industrial revolution. It was a store of energy. And what's fascinating is this store of energy is a direct result of the carbon cycle. Now, the carbon cycle is very much like the water cycle, where it's just the transfer of one thing in different forms. So in this case, it's carbon and how it moves between land, oceans, atmosphere, and living things. Like, it's just mind blowing to think that plants from 360, 350 million years ago died and buried and that carbon that we now burn in our factories right was carbon that was absorbed from the atmosphere over 350 million years ago and let me enlighten you here if coal is a battery and there was a lot of battery because again if you watch my previous videos you will know that the reign of the lycopsids so the plants that help create carboniferous coal was over 15 million years like that number is just mind-blowing right? Think of all the carbon that is stored in the earth across that time period, right? And now we as humans found this said coal, a storage of energy, a battery, and have decided to release it all extremely quickly over a matter of centuries. So if you don't think that that much carbon dioxide, that much greenhouse potency can change the climate and cause the shit show of the world we have right now when it comes to extreme weather, then delusional is not even the right word to describe the people that don't agree with that statement. So yeah, coal. I think this is gonna be the last video I make on it, unless people have any specific questions. But yeah, coal are the ultimate batteries.